Good morning, happy Monday. Today I'm trying out the new uh, Zero Sugar Coffee Mate Cinnamon Roll flavor creamer. It is really good, you guys. Really, really good. So highly, highly recommend this. For breakfast, I'm gonna have this Less Sugar Greek Yogurt. I was not a fan of this. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Was not a fan, did not really like it. It just was not thick enough for me, had a weird taste. For lunch, I'm gonna have one of the KFC bowls that I meal prepped. If you wanna see how I made these, check out my meal prep video that was posted on Monday. And then for dinner, I'm making a whole chicken in the crock pot. I will have a link down below. I made this like years and years and years ago. It's an old video, but I will post it down below in the description box and you can see how I make that. And this was my dinner, some green beans, some brown rice, and some chicken. I was not feeling the best, as you will find out. I'll talk about that a little bit more. So I needed some little, like a little bit of a bland diet Good tonight. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. As you can tell, I have a really bad cold um, during these last two weeks, um, during the holidays and stuff. Um, a few people in my family were sick and apparently they gave it to me. I got it as the last one to get it. I kind of started feeling it coming on on Friday. And... Um, yeah, and then, well, no, it was Saturday. It was Saturday, not Friday. It was Saturday. I started feeling it coming on. Um, but my throat's really sore and just all this, like, yucky congestion. And now the cough is, like, starting because the congestion is all, like, breaking up. It's terrible. It's like I go to lay down and my head, like, fills up, you know. It's just all congested. And then I sit up and my nose just starts running. Like, yesterday while I was working, it was just run, 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 like, all day long. It is just terrible. And then when I lay down and I'm all full of congestion, I had like this headache, like right behind this eye, just like pounding. So yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, my son had it first and he did get COVID tested and it was negative. Um, so it's just a really bad cold. I think it's just our weather here is so crazy right now. I mean, we never get snow in December. I mean, maybe like, I think there was a time like 10 years ago, I remember getting snow in December. And even if we would get a little bit, it would just like fall, but just not actually stick to the ground. But we got quite a bit and it was so cold. But then during the day, it would like warm up really quickly and then it just like drop in temperature. And I, my body cannot handle that. I, I'm always the sickest in the winter time because of that, because of that change in the weather and stuff. But I didn't even go anywhere, so I know I had to have gotten it from the people in my household because I, the week of Christmas, you know, I was doing errands and stuff. I think I filmed a lot of that. And then we got the snow Christmas night and I didn't go anywhere because I just, it, it terrifies me. Ice terrifies me. Snow, I don't mind driving on because you can see it. It's there. Um, you can control it. Uh, but ice scares the heck out of me because you can't see it. We get black ice around here, um, and especially the temperatures are dropping down to like 25, 28, you know, somewhere around the 29 overnight after it had been snowing all day. And so in the mornings, I was just scared to go anywhere. I just figured, you know what? I don't have to go anywhere. I don't need to go anywhere, so I'm not going to go anywhere. So that's kind of the approach I took. But... Um, yeah, so I didn't go anywhere till like, so Saturday was the day it snowed and stuff. It was the next Friday. And like I said, I was kind of starting to not feel the greatest. And so I thought I better just, just in case I get this like, you know, bad illness. I went ahead and got picked up my prescriptions, um, picked up the groceries I couldn't get with my grocery pickup order. And then Saturday I went and picked up my grocery pickup order. And that was it. Um, so I didn't even, there was still, my car was still full of snow and everything, even though there was no more snow on the ground. Um, but yeah, so I didn't go anywhere. Um, but then it was like Saturday. I really started feeling it. And then yesterday was, was pretty bad. And like today I woke up and my nose is like, it's so like burning. And like, I've been like, it's been so irritated that it's just like, I'm getting a little bit of bloody noses. Yeah. It's just, it's just bad. Um, we were given the option this week to work from home. They're kind of watching all the cases because, um, you know, we're in like an office. And so I think just anybody who can work from home, they're trying to like limit the amount of people in one room, I guess. I don't know. We were just given the option, at least our department was. So 
I went ahead and took it. I figured, well, I was going to anyway because I'm not going to go to work sick like this, but I feel well enough to work. But then if I don't, then I can just go lay down or something. Um, we'll just, you know, take it, <laughs> take it day by day. Um, anyway, yeah, I've been sneezing like crazy. Like, see, I had a fever though. My son had a fever. He had a fever for like four days and then he lost his voice at the very end. Like as he was starting to get better, he actually lost his voice for like three or four days. The last three or four days that he was sick. Actually, I, I think everything had pretty much gone away and then he lost his voice. Um, and he's still like coughing up a little bit of this stuff, but nothing like, you know, it's just like that, you know, kind of residual cough you get sometimes after you have a cold. I already had my coffee and then for breakfast I'm having some steel cut oatmeal with some blueberries and some walnuts. Amazing. I love oatmeal with blueberries and walnuts. Great breakfast. Hey guys, so happy Wednesday. Still not doing the best. This is the weirdest cold that I've had and this is different than what everybody else had here. Mine has like built up every single day a little bit different. So I was telling you Friday I was feeling a little bit off, but it wasn't really feeling sick. Saturday, kind of the same thing. But it's just like every day has been like progressively worse, but not like super bad. But I don't know what I like that. This is almost like, it's almost like if you had like a full-blown cold and then this is like the lingering effects of it. So it's like, I didn't get like the full-blown colds, but I'm having like these lingering like effects. So it's like everybody, every day is like a little bit different. You know, it's like yesterday I was feeling like, okay, I'm definitely feeling worse than Monday, definitely feeling worse than Sunday. But yesterday I had no appetite. So as you saw, like all I had, I had my breakfast, but I ended up only eating about half of that oatmeal. And then I had that cup of soup later in the evening and that's all I ate. I just drank water, I drank coffee. I did not have anything. And then today I woken up, I woken up, oh my gosh, and I said nothing, I cannot speak. I had to do a new higher orientation this morning. I had to speak really slow because I knew if I didn't, I was gonna like mess up my words or start coughing. Um, but I um, woke up so like puffy this morning and I think it's just, I'm so like full of like stuff in my head. But today I feel a lot more tired and my throat is, it's weird. It's like, it's sore, but not really sore. It's more like swollen feeling. So I think it's like my tonsils and all my lymph nodes and stuff are super like, it's just hard to swallow. It's 12 15. So I am starting to feel a little bit hungry. So that's good. So maybe I'll eat a little bit of lunch. I'm thinking keeping it light though. I don't want, I really want the chicken meatballs and the linguine. I really do. My son had that for dinner last night and he was heating it up and it just smelled so good. But I really think I better do something light because yesterday when I ate that oatmeal, it just did not sit on my stomach well. So I'm thinking I need to, um, I need to probably eat something a little bit light. So I think I may throw one of those chicken cutlets in the air fryer and just have like a big salad, just have something light and just go from there. And maybe I'll have a quick like a cup of soup with it. One of those, um, those Campbell cup of soup thingies that I had yesterday. I think I may have that with a salad and just have that for lunch. But before I um, do that, as I figure, since I'm on lunch, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the keto crate for this month. And they're also having a special. So I'm looking at my email so I can tell you guys my special. Um, so they're doing a buy one, get one, plus a digital download copy of Keto Crate's easy to follow keto guide complete with a seven day meal plan, recipes, a grocery list, tips, tricks, and information. Um, actually, here's what it's called. Keto Crate's ridiculously easy to follow guide, keto guide complete with seven day meal plan, recipes, grocery list, tips, tricks, and information that make giving up impossibly hard. <laughs> So there you go. So it's buy one, get one free. So it'll be $39.99 at sign up and then you'll get a second keto cake crate free. Sorry if I speak kind of messed up. Um, and then you'll get that digital download. So I will put the special because there's a special like link and a code down there in the description box. So check that out. So let's see what's in January's box. I haven't been watching anything. I didn't look at the sneak peek. Um, so you get your usual little book here. And I know I'm not on keto anymore, but I still like the keto treats in here because they're low sugar, high protein. And that is something that I still try to follow. I was trying to see what recipe. Usually there's a recipe in this little thing. Here we go. Ooh, herb focaca bread. Fresh five, fresh five. I don't know how to say that. I can't say that today. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's that. Um, I've got some coupons in here. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
I've never seen that. Oh, oh, they changed their um, packaging. This is from Chipmunk. Um, yes, I tried these before. Actually, they sent me a whole box of stuff before. Um, chocolate chip pecan keto cookie. Um, their stuff is really good, by the way, really good. So, but yeah, they changed their packaging. Uh, I really like this brand. This is Better Than Good Foods. These are veggie infused fused protein breakfast puffs, fruity charms. Let's try this. I'm curious. I've always liked their little puff things. I always thought they were really good. 10 grams of protein, one gram of carb. Yep, they're good. I figured they would be. I bought some of these off of Amazon after getting them in Keto Crate one time. They do taste fruity, like fruity cereal. I don't want to eat too much because I'm really am afraid how it's going to be on my stomach. Um, Pazoots. Ooh, they have pecans. So for a while, I only saw the peanuts. But then the last Keto Crate, I think we got almonds in it. And those were so good. These ones are pecans, so these are Baja Taco pecans. I can usually find the Pazoots at um, Grocery Outlet. Um, well, that fruit taste really stays in your mouth. It tastes just like Fruit Loops. Like that taste stayed in my mouth for a really long time. Um, yeah, so the Pazoots, these are really good. You guys know this is one of my favorite keto um, things ever. These are the best like granola bars. If you're missing like chewy granola bars, these are the best ones um, from Monk Pack. And this is the almond buttered cocoa chip. I love this brand. I don't know if I've ever tried this flavor before. Uh, we have from Keto Logic. I think I've gotten something from them before. I think it was a bar or maybe it was like nut butter or something. Um, these are like crisp things. These are cheddar. Uh, oh, I really like this Hilo brand. This really good. Everything I've had from them so far has been amazing. These are super cheesy, crispy cheddar cheese and almonds. These are really good. I've had different, all different varieties of their little, um, they're kind of just like trail mix type things. They have like cheese puffs and nuts and really good, you guys. This really does, if you like trail mix, this these things really give you that good vibe of trail mix. This is from Genius Gourmet. Oh, I've gotten like chip. They have the ones that have the chips that are really good. I didn't know they had bars though. This is a salted caramel bar. Super coffee. So we have a vanilla super coffee. I love super coffee. We have some pork rinds in here. This, I want to, I want to be able to fit everything back in here. So I'm going to leave it like this. This is um, smoky, ooh, smoky jalapeno cheese pork rinds. So this is from Pork King Good, which they're really good. They have, Pork King Good is ones that have the um, already like pork rind breadcrumbs type thing. I find those at grocery outlets at the time. This is from Sweetwell, which we got something else from Sweetwell and I was not a huge fan of. These are milk chocolate almond bites. I feel like we got, it wasn't almond, it was something else that we got and there's made my stomach hurt. So I'm not sure what they use in this. I think it was allulose, which allulose, it's weird with allulose because some things with allulose in it upset my stomach, some things do not. It's super weird. Like the Quest Hero Bars, which I absolutely love, those mess up my stomach. Um, and I'm pretty sure that it was like, so I think I wanna say it was like a coconut one or something. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was from Sweet Bell though and they messed up my stomach and I know I'm pretty sure it was the allulose in it, which I can't see if this has allulose in it or not. No, it doesn't, but I can see. Hmm, I don't know. And the last thing from Chalk Zero, we have some milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Anything from Chalk Zero to me is a win-win and I love seeing Chalk Zero in these boxes because these are their full size packages that you get in here. Um, they're peanut butter cups out of this world. Out of this world, really good. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, this is what was in Keto Crate this month. Um, check out the code if you want to um, go sign up and get a buy one, get one free box and that little guide. If you guys do do that, let me know because I'm curious about the guide. If it's like, you know, something that's good because that it might be something that you can purchase from Keto Crate normally. I don't know. But anyway, let me know and I will see you guys when I get my lunch all together. 
I actually feel like I have a little bit of an appetite today. Um, I did not eat anything yesterday, so I'm gonna have a big salad with a chicken cutlet with avocados, cucumbers, tomatoes, some of the Bolt House Ranch dressing. Um, these cup of noodle soups have been like a lifesaver while I have not been feeling well. They have been the best. I need to buy some more to have in my pantry. For dinner, I'm gonna make a chicken enchilada uh, skillet. I'm using some of the chicken from the chicken in the crock pot that I did um, made earlier this week. I have some reduced fat cheese, um, corn, rice cauliflower, and brown rice. I'm gonna mix them to kind of, you know, have a little bit lower carb, but then also have the regular rice in there, enchilada sauce, and black beans. You literally just throw it all in the skillet, mix it up, let it reduce down a little bit, just let it cook, then throw the cheese on top. Um, a side note, I did not eat this though because I took like one bite and my body was like, nope, nope, you don't want this tonight. So I ended up having another cup of noodle soup. For breakfast, I'm having one of the breakfast pita pockets I made. Check out my meal prep video again to see how I made these. I'm going to throw this in the air fryer, crisp it up a little bit, melt the cheese, and this will be my breakfast. For lunch, again, still not feeling well, so I'm just going to have a cup of noodle soup. I just was not feeling it. Um, but I was feeling a little bit hungry at dinner time, but again, I was not able to eat it. So let me show you what I made, end up giving to my family. I just made a burrito using the leftovers of that chicken that I made, some reduced fat mozzarella, one of these tomorrow um, premium wraps, and then some fat-free refried beans, some salsa verde. I put them in the air fryer. I was just going to have one, add a little bit of that salsa verde sauce on top, melted some cheese. But again, I just could not eat it. I actually ended up not eating anything at all for dinner. Just have not had an appetite since I've had this little illness I've had. I'm sorry, you guys, that this was kind of a lame video of what I ate this week. But next week, we're going to get on our goals. We're going to talk about goals next week in next week's video. I'm going to show you my planner pads where I'm tracking all my goals. And I'm just praying for a much healthier week next week so I can crush all those goals. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.